Yo, about to go to this Biz Marquee concert at the House of Blues. I don't like how these birds are catcalling me. I know I got my mama's thighs and shit, but goddamn. Fucking rude. <laughs> When I wake up in the morning and I'm in the morning and then I'm gonna lift some weights. Then I go to the store and get something to eat. And at the end of the day, I'm gonna beast her cheeks. It's alright, cause it's Baba Tuesday. Yeah! Right. Yeah, alright. Yo, 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 what up, everybody? It's a Saturday morning. April 9th, 2016, this is the day uh, that uh, I am going to the Bismarcky 80s versus 90s shindig at House of Blues. I can't wait. It's just about to be off the meat rack. Um, about to go work out. Then I got to do some filming. I got Then I got to shoot a model and then go out, chill, and uh, get back home and probably edit while well, everything is fresh in my mind that's something that I need to do edit right after I shoot you know oh uh, shit I want to sing you guys a song <laughs> oh shit my coolant okay I'm just bye bye Tuesday. I'm just a regular guy. I don't know why all the fuss about me. Nobody ever gave a fuck before. All they did was doubt me. Now people want to run their mouth and try to take shots at me. You might see me walking. You might see me jogging. You might see me walking the dead black when the dog with his head popped off in the park with his white collar hollering at his son of a old bitch and will keep barking. Or leaning out the window with the cock shotgun, driving down the street, the car that shot parking, looking for big killers, dressing ridiculous, like blue and red, like I don't see what the big deal is. Shit. I know I messed up them lyrics, but damn, that song so hard. Whew. Or when Eminem said, I don't do white music, I don't do black music. I made fight music for high school kids. Well, wait, wait, what did he say? I don't do black music? I don't know, he said something like that. That shit went hard. I think that was off the D12 Devil's Night album. Anyways, I'm a big Eminem fan. Um, I have my blue blockers on, but it's cloudy outside. Um, it is like 7 o'clock in the morning, so the roads are clear. I'm um, about to go to stop at Walmart, pick up some food, um, and maybe some supplements, and then go to the, go directly to the gym before I uh, start my day. Um, I want to get, hey, thank you for waking me up today. I need to write that on my Facebook post. Thank you for waking me up today. Speaking of Facebook, man, I saw some, some something disturbing. Like, it was like a uh, Facebook clip of this judge telling this woman off because she allowed some man, first, he physically like assaulted her forcefully and then she took him back and she had like five kids and then he, you know, was taking advantage of the kids and then she was acting like the victim but then the judge was like, yo, you're not the victim. The dude got life, by the way. I think two counts of life or whatnot, but, um, The, uh, the mother was acting all like she was a victim and the judge was like oh hold up you're not the victim like you allowed this to happen you're more you're as in fault as much as him or what and I was like I agree 100% with the, the judge it just baffles me how people can have babies have kids and that's not their first priority you know like guys and guys and guys and girls are guilty of this shit. Like I hear stories of like dudes just having kids with these chicks, 
and just fucking bouncing out. I'm just like, yo, that's the craziest shit. What the fuck? You know? And then you hear stories about chicks doing the same thing and bouncing out. You know? Or you or the the and this happens with guys and girls. They want to f- still live that single life and everything like that. And just because the sex is good, they want to keep somebody that's just totally foul. Now, that is toxic to their children. Listen, I'll tell you one thing. If I had a child, I'm 100% in. It's all about the child at that point, you know. And uh, with that said, that's why I'm very careful on who, if I do decide to have a kid, like have a, like I guess a, um, not go the surrogate mother route. Like, I, like, we gotta really sit down and talk. Like, we're not gonna have no mistake, kids. You know what I mean? We really gotta talk this shit out because, like, that's one thing, taking advantage of children. Children are our future. Whitney Houston said that shit. I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Did Whitney say that? She's a good singer, man. I still listen to her. I wanna dance with somebody. I wanna dance with somebody. Oh, what was the other one? Oh, what was that song? She had this one song that I would. Once I sing it, it just stays in my head. I feel so good. Damn, I can't. I can't think of it. Um, yeah, so that's that's it for today. That's that's really my thoughts, man. Like it's Sunday, you know. I mean it's Saturday, and uh, I'm just I'm just on the go, just always doing something, always doing something. I got some um, videos uploading, you know. I was it's come to think, like after I do my whole year of just documenting every day. What's what's gonna go on after that? Like, am I gonna still do it? Cause my ship should be blowing up by then, you know. Um, speaking this shit into existence, you know. Um, so we will see. I'm on my way to this Walmart and I'm gonna hit up the gym real quick, you know. Ladies, how you guys doing? Yo, comment. Like, subscribe, do what the fuck you want to do. Just listen to me. I imagine like these videos, like these vid, like somebody. I, I I imagine like somebody in like Iceland or some shit. Some kid in Iceland is gonna be like, yo, he's gonna he or she's gonna be like a big Bowie Tuesday fan, and they just gonna watch all my videos and shit. Everybody has those like those loyal people who follow you and everything. Cause I'm one of them. I'll be following people. Um and everything commenting on all this stuff but anyways i gotta i probably gotta get some coolant for my car too but uh peace Ooh, it's getting kind of chilly out here uh got my groceries uh found out what that Whitney Houston song was and also did you know that Walmart has this thing where you can like tell them what groceries you want what time you're going to be around to pick it up and you can buy it and pick it up and all that is that mad lazy or mad convenient What just happened? Oh god damn. That's it. Yo, so I don't know if that recorded or whatnot, but Walmart has a thing where you can tell them what groceries you want, what time you're gonna pick it up, and you can just pick it up. I guess you pay it online or whatnot. That's just crazy. So is that lazy? Is that being lazy? Or is that just convenient? Or a little bit of both. I tell you one thing, I love walking around that Walmart. There'll be some nice older ladies there. That just
just got done doing some yoga or some kind of like kayaks or some Pilates or or some fucking insanity or something. No, but uh, I bought some. Uh, what did I get? I got some bananas. I got some gum. Um, I got this. I'm about to eat this power crunch real quick. Um, I got some pre pre. I bought some pre work out there. I got some milk and I got some cookies. The cookies are for whoever's working at the front desk of the gym. I just like to do random shit to blow people's minds. So, whoever's at the front desk at the gym, your ass is about to get three chocolate chip cookies. I know that's kind of fucking um, kind of productive because I'm bringing food like that in the gym. But hey, who can turn down some goddamn chocolate chip cookies? for free from me you know random act of kindness i just do it my, my brain says yo just do this and i do it so that whitney houston song was <clears throat> so emotional <clears throat> i get so emotional baby every time i think of you i get so to the club in a long time do people still freak dance in the club is it still called freak dancing or it's motherfuckers in the corner just popping locking with each other popping locking it's motherfuckers over there just fucking nay naying I hate when a fucking rapper gets in my way when I'm trying to fucking eat like, damn and this shit's all fucking powdery in our hair huh? Anyways, I gotta go. I gotta pay attention to the road. I gotta get this pre-workout in me. You guys take care. Remember, teach people how to treat you. And learn as much as you can. Become your own guru. Because nobody knows your body better than you do. Especially when you Netflix and chill with yourself. About to try this stuff out for the first time. I've heard great things. This shit's supposed to uh, make me kill it today. You me taking this shit. All right, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll switch it around a little bit. I really taste the pineapple when, mm -hmm. when the water hit. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's like candy. It's, it's like candy. 10 minutes and you're gonna be. All right, 10 minutes, I'm gonna marinate and then I'm gonna let you guys know how I feel. How was that cookie? Man, <laughs> smashed it. <laughs> oh.